in my uh, previous video I tried to uh, bore out this uh, color chuck but uh, as you can see from this picture I got a horrible uh, surface finish and this is after I used some emery cloth well I got some uh, useful comments about this issue and uh, while the uh, color chuck is still in the uh, spindle nose and uh, the top slide is still set uh, to the correct angle uh, why not try again before I uh, throw this thing out in the garbage a couple of people have uh, suggested that the size of this 16 mm boring bar might uh, prevent a good chip ejaculation especially as the boring bar gets deeper inside the uh, color chuck and as you can see there is not a whole lot of room in there especially near the uh, bottom so they might be onto something so this time I'm going to switch to uh, this 12 uh, millimeter pouring bar um, unfortunately I won't be able to uh, run it upside down because then I would need to uh, reset the top slide to another angle and as you can see there's a lot more room with this uh, 12 millimeter boring bar the uh, 12 millimeter boring bar uses a lot uh, smaller CCMT insert and uh, that means I will no longer be able to uh, use this uh, blue nano uh, insert that uh, I was testing but I will uh, continue that test uh, in another video these are actually uh, fake Mitsubishi inserts or uh, probably fake I think uh, they work pretty good high speed steel might be even better but uh, I don't have a uh, fitting high speed steel uh, boring bar and uh, now that I'm on the uh, subject of fake Mitsubishi inserts have you uh, ever seen uh, this uh, word or code VP15TF it's a proprietary coating from Mitsubishi Carbide uh, in Japan a magical coating if you believe uh, Mitsubishi marketing but the uh, Chinese seem to use it uh, as a magical marketing uh, term search for VP15TF inserts on eBay and you will uh, find all kinds of inserts with all kinds of different colors that uh, are supposed to have all the same uh, coating I call that a uh, strange kind of magic as far as I know uh, boxes of uh, blue nano inserts have uh, no label but still you can find the uh, magical word VP15TF on uh, the Banggood website for these uh, CCMT inserts it's kind of funny because uh, these are uh, pretty blue compared to the uh, Mitsubishi inserts however I uh, do believe that uh, these uh, Mitsubishi or fake Mitsubishi inserts are pretty decent I definitely have uh, used worse inserts I also like these uh, internal threading tools they uh, worked a lot better than uh, those I got from uh, Banggood I don't know if you can see it on camera but they have a, a bit of a positive rake and uh, are cutting much lighter at least on my life I bought these uh, from eBay just like uh, these two boxes that I uh, still haven't used but all of these are labeled uh, VP15TF VP15TF and the first one VP15TF remember that word you will see it everywhere another reason for the uh, bad surface finish might be the uh, slow spindle speed 
it is uh, currently maxing out at uh, 600 rpm so I'm going to increase the uh, maximum frequency uh, on the old uh, Allen Bradley set it to 80 and then the spindle can run about uh, 800 rpm it might need a power cycle It doesn't. 80 hertz. I hope that helps. I think uh, the old bronze spindle bearings will survive that speed for a short while. Now I'm removing the uh, drawbar from the spindle and uh, then have an assistant. Uh, blow through the uh, spindle hole with some uh, compressed air did that work? Yeah. Most, most of it is gone, gone. Yeah. so, that, so works. that works and maybe, maybe also, also helps, helps. You might notice that uh, this time I've set the uh, cross light uh, closer or underneath the uh, collar chuck. That uh, might help a little with uh, rigidity. All right, I think I'm ready to uh, take uh, a cut. One last cut. That's 800 rpm. Right, dialing in a very light cut. Here we go. It was pretty much impossible to hear uh, if I was at the end of the cut. Hmm, might be better. Let's feel it. Yeah, definitely a lot better. Yeah, a lot better. I will uh, edit in a picture. Uh, it might have uh, been better if I had used some uh, oil. But I forgot. I bet you guys uh, weren't uh, impressed uh, looking at that picture. And uh, neither was I. I guess now the best thing I can do is uh, attack this with a little piece of sandpaper. First I gotta pee. Alright, I'm back. Let's do this. Huh. Finger polish. Probably not as safe as uh, using a dowel pin, but it does uh, work better. That uh, only shows the groove uh, better. I think uh, those chips were causing the uh, bad surface finish down into the bore. But I also think uh, it still sucks. 
no need to, to even test this but here's a picture after uh, using some sandpaper I guess that's uh, it for today now I'm going to watch the Formula 1 qualifying in Canada so bye until next time Well, it finally happened. I've reached the uh, magic number of 10,000 subscribers. Actually, uh, not yet, but uh, I should when I uh, upload this video. There are probably some fake subscribers, aliens, robots, spammers, or uh, fanatics among those 10,000. But the number itself is not fake, so according to YouTube, I actually have uh, 10,000 and uh, probably a few subs. And I am officially calling that number the uh, demarcation point where a small channel becomes a uh, medium, a medium small channel. And then 100,000 subs will be the uh, number where a channel becomes uh, big ish. Now, uh, don't all start uh, unsubscribing because uh, then I will shrink back to a uh, small channel. And I wouldn't like that. Although uh, your privacy might be uh, better served without a uh, Google account. You are probably giving them lots of useful information by uh, subscribing to your favorite channels. Maybe uh, something to think about. Who knows, maybe I'll get to 100,000 subscribers one day. But I seriously doubt I will ever reach that number. It's just so far away. It uh, took me long enough to get this far. I uh, actually had a bet with my nephews that I would reach the uh, 10,000 before the end of 2018. So obviously I lost that bet. And I don't think they will go for double or nothing this time. Since they already seem to have lost interest in those fidget spinners I won from them last time. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing. And I guess I will be making another video, probably something a bit more substantial, but uh, I don't know yet. Alright, I'm out.